Grade 8 math number 1.3a, compare irrational numbers. Between any two real numbers are other real numbers. If you saw in the last video, we broke it down into our tree. Real numbers are either rational or irrational. And the rational numbers have branches broken off into the decimals, fractions, positive and negative integers, the perfect squares, and the integers go to whole numbers and then those go to natural numbers. Well, if we want to compare and put irrational numbers in order, we can make approximations of the values of the irrational numbers as decimals. We can use perfect squares to estimate the values of other square roots. We know the square root of 4 is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. We know the square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. And the square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. These are perfect squares. We can use these to help us put irrational numbers, squares that are not perfect, we can put them in order. So if we have the square root of 12 plus 6, and we want to know if it's less than, greater than, or equal to 12 plus the square root of 6, and we just want to know which side is more. We look at the square root of 12, and we see that 12 is in between 9 and 16. So if the square root of 12 is in between the square root of 9 and square root of 16, it must be in between, the, the square root of it must be in between 3 and 4. See? So we say, oh, about 3.5. We make an approximation and write it as a decimal as 3.5. So we're going to use 3.5 as our approximation for the square root of 12. We add that to the 6, and we get 9.5. Now, we look at the square root of 6. That's got to be in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. So that means it's in between a 2 and a 3. So we're going to use 2.5 for the square root of 6. 12 plus 2.5 is 14.5. So we know that the 14.5 is greater. 9.5 is less than 14.5. We know it's an approximation. We can rewrite this inequality as the square root of 12 plus 6 is less than 12 plus the square root of 6. See? So we used the perfect squares to help us find the values of the non-perfect squares. See? So if we wanted to do less than, greater than, or equal to with these, we know our perfect squares. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. We can use these perfect squares. So which is greater, the square root of 3 plus 4 or 3 plus the square root of 4? Well, we know the square root of 3 has got to be in between the square root of 1 and the square root of 4. So we're going to approximate it as 1 and a half because it's in between the 1 and this 2. 1 and a half plus 4 is 5.5. It's 5 and a half. The square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5, so on this side we've got 5.5, and on this side we've got 5. So we know this side is greater. See? The square root of 2 has got to be in between the square root of 1 and the square root of 4, so we're going to just say it's between this 1 and 2. It's approximately 1.5. 1 1.5 .5 plus 7 is 8.5. So now we know we've got 8.5 on this side. 2 plus the square root of 7. The square root of 7 has got to be in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, so that's about a 2.5. 2 plus 2.5 is 4.5. We can see that this side is greater. See? Even when a square is a numerator, the square root of 9 is 3, so we know that this is 3 eighths. 3 eighths plus 2 eighths is 5 eighths, so we know these two are equal. See? The square root of, square root of 11 plus 6, well, the square root of 11 is in between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16, so it's going to be in between 3 and 4, so we'll use 3.5. 3.5 plus 6 is 9.5. Right? 11 plus the square root of 6, 
the square root of 6 has got to be in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. So we're going to use in between the 2 and the 3, a 2.5. So we're going to add 11 and 2.5, and we get 13.5. So we know this side is greater. 9.5 is less than 13.5. See that? Now, if you're really confused about real numbers and irrational numbers, then my advice is go back and watch in this playlist of grade 8 math video number 1.2c to understand real numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and it breaks it all down into this nice tree, and I have ex explanations underneath each one of these. Okay? Maybe that'll help you. I even post posted a picture of this on Twitter with the explanations. So, remember you can follow me on Twitter now, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. We're going to talk about ordering real numbers. We're going to talk about putting a mixture of rational and irrational numbers into order. I'll see you there. Bye.